Good afternoon. Welcome to my laboratory. I've uh, made a couple of little changes to the micro QEG quantum energy generator. This is a solid state version, higher frequency version of what the fix the world, hope girl, James Robitaille people are calling the quantum energy generator. Theirs is a mechanically pumped um, parametric oscillator operating in a driven generator mode and it produces, uh, oh it takes in about 600 watts to drive the generator and produces 10 kilowatts of over unity in VARS, reactive power. And then they, uh, the Florida group at any rate has used a, a transformer type circuit to convert some of those VARS into real power. Unfortunately, the real power is less than the power that drives the thing in the first place, but uh, we'll just let that slide for now. This is a solid state version that does the same thing. It's an auto resonating oscillator that produces a large amount of uh, reactive power in its primary coil, which is this Tesla bifiler coil. It is a truly bifiler wound Tesla coil. There's the little crossover right in there. And this is the load coil for the solid state micro quig. Now what I've been doing is I've been using this coreless loop stick as a current sense coil, just slipping that around one of the legs of the of the um, micro quig's primary there. And that's where that goes. Oh, see, uh, you may notice that on the micro quig there, I've actually improved the capacitor mount situation uh, to give us a more symmetrical current path in the uh, apparatus. Where this thing operates at a little bit over 300 kilohertz, and unlike the fix the world people, when I say the frequency, it really is that frequency. They have yet to show a 400 kilohertz wave shot from any of their devices. Okay, so there's that. There's the, the way that I mounted the capacitors there. I made a little pyramidal, pyramidal stack out of circuit board material and then soldered that to the board and that gives us a much better symmetrical low inductance path from the storage capacitors there, the, res the resonant tank capacitors. All right. Oh, and I'm also, I've also tried, decided to try different MOSFETs. These are just plain old ordinary IRF830 MOSFETs in here now. Uh, common as dirt and about twice as cheap. IRF830 is in there now. Okay. And uh, so, Oh yeah, this is of course the electrosmog harvester. It's a tuned circuit, L, C, and then it has the three LEDs in series as the load across that. And that's tunable and it's tuned to the uh, 303 kilohertz frequency. But they're just LEDs. Nobody really believes LEDs take much power. So I made a transverter here. This is the official micro Quig's transverter. Uh, and this is how you convert reactive power in a coil into usable real power. You use a resonant LC circuit. That's a capacitor in there of approximately the same total value as these capacitors about 56 nanofarads and that's a little 12 volt incandescent light bulb and that's the coil and it's all wired in parallel okay there's no battery in there people all right big deal so let's turn it on so there's the 12 volt battery over there and here's the on switch like that whoops this is quite a reach 
I'm behind the camera, but I'm trying to reach out in front of it. So I think you can see that the LEDs are glowing brilliantly. The thing's operating. It's producing its reactive power. And it's not making all that noise. Is it? Alright, so let's go ahead and see. Let's see here. oscilloscope probe that I can hook up across the current monitor like that Another scope probe I can hook up across the coil itself. Kind of like that. Okay. And now there are our waveforms. top waveform here, this one is at 50 volts per division and it's showing about 81 or 82 volts. This bottom trace here is the trace from the current transformer, the little loop stick. And you can see, I think, that these two traces look like they're perfectly in phase, right? But actually, the true situation is that they are almost perfectly out of phase. And there is a combined phase shift of about 90 degrees because of the current transformer. And then another 90 degrees phase shift because all of the current is reactive. It's reactive power. So, the Lisa Zhu figure looks like that, which indicates 180 degrees out of phase situation. But, it's actually in phase. And when it's in phase, it actually means that it's 90 degrees out of phase because of the combined effects of the 90 degree phase shift caused by the loop stick current transformer and the fact that the current is 90 degrees out of phase with the voltage in the fully reactive circuit that's happening in the coil. Got that? Thanks for watching.